species of crab that rules supreme on these islands. It's called the coconut crab, and it's the largest land arthropod alive today. And it's actually as big as arthropod bodies can get on land in the current oxygen levels in the current atmosphere on Earth. They're mostly nocturnal, but with a bit of luck, and if we hunt around in this habitat, we might just find one. Coconut crabs live on many tropical islands in the Indian and West Pacific Oceans. But the really big specimens are now very hard to find. The islands of the British Indian Ocean Territory are one of the main strongholds for the species and are known to harbour one of the greatest concentrations left in the world. I dreamt of seeing coconut crabs in the wild ever since I was a child. But after searching several islands, I still hadn't found any, and I was beginning to lose heart. But I did find a few signs of their presence. Ah, this, this is a coconut crab nest. If you look down here, you can see very clearly the crabs burrowed down through this old coconut palm rootstock and made a hollow down here. This is where he'd live. There's no one at home here now, but that's definitely where he would have been. And he's lined the inside of this nest with coconut fiber. And look, he's even dragged some coconuts back. And you can see they've cut off the fiber off the coconuts and tapped into the actual nut itself. And that's their primary food. So this is, this is the home, but just no one here at the moment. We've been searching for a whole week to try and find the giant coconut crabs of the Chagos Archipelago. And so far, we've only found very small juvenile crabs and a couple of very small adult ones. But just over here, this morning, we spotted the very first big one that we've seen so far. It's just over there. Yep, I can see claws peeking out. Okay, this obviously isn't a natural nest. There's a crab under here, under a sheet of metal, but opportunistically he's just found this and thought it's obviously made a good, a good nest. So let's delicately lift it up and have a look. Wow! What a whopper! Hello, crab. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that's a big one. Look at this specimen. This is enormous. What a beauty. Wow. Gently, oh, <laughs> gently try and pick him up. Wow, look at this guy. This is a full-sized coconut crab. Oh, <laughs> and very heavy one too, about three kilos. This is the biggest terrestrial arthropod alive today. And an absolute monster. They can get a little bit bigger than this. They can get up to a 90 centimeter leg span to leg span. But this is getting on for full size. And this has got to be two, three kilograms. What a beauty. But you can see why they've become so endangered. Basically, all you have to do is hit them on the head with a piece of wood, and then you've got two, three kilos of meat. So as a consequence, they've become endangered throughout all of their range. But here on Chagos, at least, they're doing quite well and they're safe. And this is one of the last places in the world where you get these big-sized adults. What a beauty. It's always the way. Once you find one, you find many. And for the rest of my stay in the British Indian Ocean Territory, I saw many more large adults every day. Apart from humans, coconut crabs have few enemies on these remote islands. They're protected by tough armor and a pair of formidable claws. They use those claws to drag coconuts back to their lairs and to break into them to reach the flesh.
It's been an ambition since my childhood to see the world's largest land invertebrate. And the coconut crab didn't disappoint. I leave the Chagos Archipelago a contented man. <laughs>